Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and we are back to playing some more Track and Field 2. And the reason why is because we didn't check out all the events previously. So we want to give this game a fair shake, give it a chance to play all the different events. So we're going to start with the Clay Pigeon shooting, which uh, I previously mentioned was not in this game. It actually is. We just didn't pay attention. So, uh... Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. Let's give this one a good shake. Ah, crap. This one's gonna be very finicky for sure. There we go. Got one, baby. So we need 25, it says. Dang, that's gonna be hard to pull off, man. There we go. How many do we have to shoot, though? Fortunately, not to be like exact on it. it just has to be pretty good inside the box okay so that's the first round uh, we need 40 it says hmm that's gonna be tough to do man it might look a little bit different than the other video that's because I'm using a different uh, emulation setup I'm using uh, retro arch instead of Nestopia. just giving that a go well it's still Nestopia technically but it's just the retro arch uh, Lib Retro Core instead of the actual emulator. Okay. This actually plays pretty good. I mean, I'm now feeling that the feelings that I'm having is my personal feelings and not an issue with this game being crappy or anything like that. Like the other Clay Pigeon shooting rounds were for sure. Yeah, this plays really good. Dang it. Can't win them all though, right? I wonder if you could play this with a light gun. That would be freaking awesome. Yeah. The only thing is, unfortunately, it seems like there's not really any variation between the rounds. Like, it's they're all the same kinds of discs. That, and I guess it takes a little bit long. Like, imagine if you're trying to do multiple players trying to go through this. There we go. We qualified, baby. Yeah, that was actually really good, man. Very responsive. Kick some butt, for sure. <laughs> All right, so that was some good uh, uh, play pigeon shooting. Let's we'll see what other modes we've got here. From the Konami Press. Oh, it's wants to do hammer throw? I don't think so. I think we already did hammer throw. I don't know, though, man. I don't remember. All right, hold on. Um... Be right back, guys. For some reason, it goes straight to hammer throw there, which we still need to do hammer throw, mind you. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. I'm not sure if we did it on any other events or not, but... All right, um... Not sure what we're supposed to do here? I assume my controller's working, but... Um, what you what you doing, brah? Do your hammer throw. Wait, what was that? I just I did something here. Oh, you have to. Okay, you have to do the circular freaking thing. Okay, right. I think. Yeah, you have to do it like the opposite. Okay, that didn't work out quite very good. All right, well, we need to figure out how to get more power now. Dang, you really... I don't know how you could do this on a regular NES, dude. I'm using a freaking uh, analog stick on my Xbox One controller here, dude. There we go! Yeah, threw it! Ah. Well, Hammer Throw, unfortunately, was not very good. <laughs> what a terrible event that was, huh? Yeah, yeah. 
Off to Konami Press, baby. Yeah, game over. It's all about the game over, baby. Let's go ahead and get back into it then. Unfortunately, it doesn't. It shouldn't. It should just let you go back to the menu. This is like kind of a negative on this game's part. Uh, let's see. Uh, we didn't do hurdles, so let's try that. I'm not sure what exactly would be different from the NES game, but or the arcade game or whatever. On your mark. Get set. Foul? How'd I foul? On your mark. I guess I'm bottom player. Oh shit! I wrong button. Wrong button, people. Dude, you got a freaking jump in water? This is crazy, man. Come on, player one. One P. Go one P, motherfucker. How are they getting full max speed, man? <laughs> and dang, that clock is going fast as hell, dude. Dang. That was a close race, so look at the freaking stats, man. But seriously, three... Is that supposed to be three minutes? Why is the time so jacked up there? That just does not make any sense. I think it's automatically going to take us to the next event, which we didn't cover anyways. Yeah, that, horizontal bar. Okay, let's see what that's about. Oh, I think this is a gymnastics one, actually. Okay. I'm not sure what we're doing here. Oh, this is kind of like a swimming one. Okay, where you do, like, the different uh, things. Okay, gotcha. I guess you gotta do this to... Oh, I think you're supposed to... Okay, you're supposed to do what it tells you to do, I think. Is the objective here. I don't know how I did it all. <laughs> I guess I did pretty bad. Maybe. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what happened there, man. I I got a zero, okay. So we failed. <laughs> uh, thanks, Kenami Press. Okay, now we need to check out Taekwondo next because we have not tried out Taekwondo yet. I don't I don't think any of the other games we had had a Taekwondo event, so uh We'll see. This will be really interesting to see uh, how this has turned out here. Hopefully it's as good or better than fencing. I mean, I love the fencing minigame, but hopefully it's on par with that. Okay. Kick, punch, it's all on your mind. Holy crap! Jump kick, motherfucker. Yes, it's a freaking fighting game, man. Hell yes, NES fighting game. Wait, how come I fell down? I got health still. Oh, okay, I get it, okay. Why would I ever punch, dude? Kick's got better range. Got him! <laughs> got him again. He's almost down for the count, people. Just a tiny bit more health is all he's got. Let's go in for the flying dragon kick. Wait, he's still getting up, or...? Oh, yeah! Ha-ha! <laughs> Suck it, computer. We beat your ass. Yeah, now we bow. That's the honorable thing to do. Kick some butt in Taekwondo, baby. Uh, pretty wonky, but hey, we did successful there. I guess, uh, I mean, you have to bear in mind there's NES games like Karate Champ that that's 
all they have is just that. They don't have anything else. So it's kind of cool that this game had it at least. Um, let's see. So we're doing pole vault. We didn't cover that one before, too, I don't think. Well, if I did. Okay. So I guess we gotta rapidly tap for the power. Uh, whoops. Not sure what we're supposed to do there. <laughs> okay, here we go, people. Rapidly tap. Booyah! Booyah! <laughs> yeah, dude. Excellent pole vaulting action for sure. I thought this one had a good pole vaulting event. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll find some reason like that to hate it, you know, because it just randomly fouls you for no reason. But try it again, people. Gotta get the timing in. What did I do wrong there? Hmm. Okay, maybe this one ain't, ain't very good. I mean, I did successfully make it, but I think uh, the Activision game was... There we go! Yeah. Very simple. It's very, very simple. You just gotta rapidly tap the A button to get your run across, and you tap B to uh, do the vaulting. And uh, I don't know what the... There, I think there's more to it than just that. Unfortunately, I don't know what more there is to it. Qualified. Yeah! Graphics are pretty nice in this, too. You know, that guy's got a huge sprite and... Just looks really good for a earlier NES game. I mean, this was 88, I think. Yeah! Qualified. But why is it 4 meters .79? Is uh, that point zero one gonna really make a difference? <laughs> oh, okay. I guess you have to get four point eighty eight actually to meet the qualifying score. Ah, uh, we hit the freaking bar. Dang it. Okay, here we go, people. Gonna give it another try here. Dang it! I hit it too early. You gotta be good with your timing. But it's kind of strange. Look how long the freaking pole is there. Like, none of the other games actually represent the length of the pole accurately. Yeah, well... It's... It's tough to say if this is the best one. Because I failed, obviously, whereas in uh, Decathlon I actually succeeded in that pole vault. But, uh... It's still... Or actually, no, it wasn't pole vault. It was high jump that they had. Whatever. Well, that was definitely one of the better pole vaults for sure. It function at least most of the time. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other events we haven't covered yet. Let's double check here. Okay. I know we did the high dive, the freestyle, canoeing, archery, fencing. Um, we did the clay pigeon, hammer throw, hurdles, horizontal bar, taekwondo. I'm not sure if we did the triple jump. Let's uh, see what that's about. I know we did it in the original track and field, but not this one. Well, I don't know. Maybe we did do it in this one. And this is looking a bit familiar. We'll just give it a go and see how it goes. Yeah, we did this one. I remember now. Okay. Well, let's... Uh Guess we'll give it another try, you know, because we didn't really do any good with any of the other triple jumps, so, uh... Ah, crap. <laughs> okay, I think I know what we're supposed to do now, though. Like, you have to hold the A, the B button in to uh, symbolize the angle and things like that of the jump. Crap, that wasn't very good. Uh, he didn't even jump again. So that one was just shitty, but whatever. I think we covered all of them, guys, uh, for track and field too. So now we'll be able to do the closing ceremonies properly. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, but uh, till then, Dow Phoenix out.